I'm Anil Kumar. We are practicing how to calculate annuities, especially their future value. Here is the formula. Future value equals to R times 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1 divided by I. R is the regular payments which are being made at the end of compounding period. I is the interest for the compounding period. N is the number of times it is being compounded, right? So that is how it is. The question here is, what regular amount should you invest regularly at 5.2% per annum compounded weekly to have $200,000 at the end of three years? So what regular amount? So you need to find what R is. So it's kind of reverse calculation. Should you invest weekly? So it has to be done weekly. Weekly means 52 times a year. That is what it means, okay? At a rate of interest, which is R, which is 5.2% per annum, it means 0 0.052 per annum. That is what rate of interest is. And when you do it 52 times, that means per week, how much? That is I value. So I is 0 0.052 divided by 52, right? Which will be 0 0.001. So this is compounded weekly, correct? Okay. And uh, final value, what you are interested in is $200,000. Is $200,000. End of number of years is three years. Now that three years is actually equal to implies, I should write N, let me write here, N equals to, since it is compounded 52 times, so it will be three times 52. Is it okay? So that is six, three times five is 15. So N is 156 for you. Correct? So that is how you get all this. Hmm? And now, you have to place these values in this formula to find R. So let me do that for you. Future value, 200,000. So let 200,000 equals to R, we need to find, find out, 1 plus I, which is 0 0.001 to the power of N, which is 156, 52 times 3, minus 1 divided by compounding period interest which is 0 0.001 so so now you need to calculate r from this you can use your calculator do the calculation and then check with my solution okay so one way is just calculate these values or you could rearrange so so let me just rearrange what r is equals to so we'll multiply 200,000 by 0 0.001, divide this by all this, which is 1.001 to the power of 156 minus 1. Do you get the idea, right? So that is to say three decimal places, right? So we'll reduce three, right? So, so when you do this, you get 200 or just use calculator, right? Just use calculator. 1.001 to the power of 156 minus 1. Just use calculator. Okay, let's do the calculator. Okay. So use the calculator. Say 200, 1, 2, 3 times 0 0.001 equals 2. And then you say divide by. But now the important thing is put brackets. So if you miss brackets, you're going to get wrong results. So that is why I was trying to do it separately. So how many brackets? Two brackets. Why two? Understand that part. So this. Do you understand? So let's put two brackets and then 1.001 to the power of 156. Correct? So, so that is one part. Minus one. Bracket close inside and then the whole thing will be divided and then equal to you get your answer, which is 
0.85.289. Round it to two decimal places, 29. So that is the amount which you should be depositing every week for three years to get 200,000 when you're getting compound interest of 5.2% per annum, right? So we get our answer and that is dollars 1185.29. So I hope you understand and appreciate the steps. So in this question, if you want to find regular amount, you have to do reverse calculation, rearrange your formula and then find it out. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.